to see the people that are following you or following. You just hop over here. You can search and add more. Oh, and by the way, real quick, this is interesting too. We're not talking about just people. You can follow topics or organizations as well. For instance, I follow, let me go through real quick. This go to web is an educational technology group, right? Specific to my interest area. This is this is the classroom media technology group. Education crazy, more educator stuff. Education week, that's the publication that comes out, more educator stuff. Um, so I you know I, I can join or follow a lot of different groups. Um, I follow inside higher education. And these are specific people that I follow. Um, higher Ed Buzz is another one. So you can search, or if you don't know what to search on, oftentimes they'll they'll advertise. In fact, I just it was sort of interesting. I just heard on the news like within the last day or two, the, even Cake News in Wichita now says you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. So even Cake News of all people of that group that has places you can follow news updates via Twitter. So anytime there's breaking news, like what happened yesterday, you would get a feed through Twitter. Okay? It's very, very, very simple. There's really not a lot to it. It's almost like just sort of instant messaging is really what it is. It's real simple, real quick bursts of information back and forth. The key is the following. Be careful. Don't let these marketers get a hold of you. You'll get these things in, and I got stuck with a couple of them. And you can always remove them, but like, I'll see if I can, there's a couple I probably still have remaining out here. <clears throat> um, a couple of these people down here, they're, they're just marketers. They're trying to, what they're doing is they're getting paid for every tweet that they send out, they get a fraction of a cent. So if they mass blitz thousands of people, they get a little paycheck. That's what they're doing, that's what they're up to. So be careful about that. Questions? See how easy it is? Post some tweets. It's not a big deal. Yeah, Anthony? Why is Another good question. I don't know. Let me let me write that down. So Anthony was asking about um, ways to attract followers based on specific email addresses, correct? Is that kind of the gist of it's a good question. I'll try to get back to you. Okay, in the interest of time, I'm probably not going to spend too much time on Facebook because most of you are already there, but there's a couple people that weren't. Let me just sort of direct you to the right place to sort of get started with this. It's, it's really very, very simple. There's, you go to Facebook.com. If you want to, you can try it if you don't have it, but most of you raise your hand, so it's, it's sort, of, I'm sort of behind you a bit. But type your full name, your email, your password. Um, some information. By the way, you don't have to divulge anything on Facebook that you don't want to. There are privacy options that lock it down so that only specific people, your invitees, can see that information. So you can make it as wide open or as restricted as you want. Okay? Some people have those very, very locked down for privacy reasons. Totally up to you. Once you get signed up, though, you're going to want some friends. Or else you're going to be a very lonely, lonely Facebook user. So the way that you do that is you search. And what's cool about Facebook is, is that it will suggest people based upon the people that you find. So it makes its, it's business logic, its algorithm actually looks at associations based upon the folks that you are making other associations with. 
And it will say, well, since you knew this guy from your high school, maybe you have to know these other people from your high school because it makes keyword associations. And then on it goes. And suddenly your network of people starts to build before you know it. The average person has 123 Facebook friends. That's the average. Some people on my list are well into the upper 100s. Very popular people. And then, and then if you really want to know how to use this appropriately, I suggest you talk to Cheryl over here. No. <laughs> because she's really a Facebook aficionado. Um, while we're here, let me quickly show you now. All you have to do is type something. You get, I forget the, the length, it's more than 140 characters. You get about a paragraph. It comes out to maybe two or three hundred characters, something like that. I can't, there's a maximum, but it's more than Twitter. Um, so you can go ahead and post stuff. You can use the bit.ly or the those URL truncators if you want to share a site out real quick. What Cheryl is doing right here, you can see what she's done. Is she's posted something directly to my wall. That's a private post to me. That's the reason why it looks like that. But so it's she not can private because everybody else, everybody else can, see it. can see it. Right. So, but, but it's basically trying to say that that message was intended for me. But she can post things as well. So that's called wall to wall. There's the there's the friend suggestion piece over here on the side. So it'll automatically call your friends list and will make suggestions based upon the people who are in your network. You do have to put up with a little bit of advertising on the side, not too much, but a little bit. Okay, questions about that? We're gonna skip over that real quick because most of you are already doing it. Okay. Questions about Facebook? Okay. Yeah, uh-huh, question. Yeah, I've never known it I've never known it to like expire like even a dormant account. Yeah, I mean until you remove well you can remove yourself. You can delete your account. And if you have someone who you can see their friends. Well, um, it, de it depends upon if you have your privacy locked down or not. If you don't, if you have a wide open, they can see your friends. That's true. What's the privacy lockdown? There are. Um, it's under your profile settings. Up here, privacy options. And who, control who can see information. Um, there's there's the default by default it's wide open but you can you can lock specific things down so it's pretty granular in terms of who you can control to see now i thought you were going another direction because what you can do is if you ever associate yourself with somebody and then all of a sudden you find that <laughs> you, you are so mad at that person and you disagree politically or whatever you can actually hide that person and you can remove them too but they'll figure it out pretty quick but you can hide them so that they're part of your network, but you never see their posts. They never come through. Uh, in your friends, when you go to your friends section, when you go to all friends, I believe that's where it's at. I've had to hide a couple people here. Um, I think that's removed. Where is it? It's been a while since I've done it, so I'm Over here? Oh! Oh, right, 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 yeah. It's not coming up. No. Right there? Well, that removes her. I don't want to remove her. There's a way to hide her. Yeah, there's a drop down there. I just can't remember where it's at. It's somewhere in there. You can hide it. Somewhere in there. I can't remember where it's at. It's been a while. Somewhere in there. 